Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure and this video tutorial today is to show you how to build a castle in Palworld. So first things first, it's important to have a look at the land that you're building on. Make sure the ground is absolutely flat. Make sure there's no fences on that land because you will not be able to build over fences. So keep that in mind. Also, um, things like cliffs that might be eating into that build. So the best thing to do is to obviously pick a flat space, but also lay a foundation down first to make sure that everything will fit. Now this build is going to be 10 by 7 squares, so 10 across, 7 deep. Now you can have this any way you like, you could build this castle the other way so we're sort of facing it here, but this is just so you know how to build it. There's one square on the perimeter of it, like a porch kind of area, so the castle does not go to the very edge of this, so if you need to scale it down then you can do so. Absolutely building this out of stone, no questions about that. So make sure with your PAL box, remember your PAL box determines the proximity of your base. So as you can see, we can see the blue line around the outside. So if you put the PAL box all the way on the edge, then it might take away some of that perimeter. And the perimeter is really important with this game, especially if you love base building, because it allows you to access all the materials in those crates from any point inside that base, which is the most exciting part, I think, when it comes to building. Because usually when it comes to building, you're carting all your materials back and forth, etc., and you don't have to do it with these proximity resources. So let us have a look and begin. So again, you might like to pause this 10 squares across and seven squares deep. 10 across the front. It doesn't matter that that's eating into that area because you know that that is that sort of porch kind of area that I made. And then seven deep. We're gonna start with the bottom right corner with a stone door. Stone costs three, these particular um, objects cost three stone each. So we're going to go stone door here. Every corner of the castle is going to be solid. The next one we're going to do is we're going to have a stone wall next to it, which is here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have one wall that juts in. This adds dimension to it. Then we're going to add a wall in to this one with a window. Then we're going to have a plain stone wall here, then two across the front, like that. So we have a stone door, flat wall, a wall jutting in, then the window, then the wall coming back out, and two stone walls at the front. Now. When it comes to unlocks, we're looking at stone unlocking at character level 18 and we're looking at the vines, which you'll need, hopefully, at level 16. The defense wall, which you can see over there, is level 29. This adds incredible dimension to your castle and you're gonna wanna have it. It doesn't click onto anything either, so you can put it anywhere you like. It does have its dilemmas because it does create gaps, but that's what we use the vines for. Then we can have a gate later on, which you can see over on mine on the right-hand side, which it unlocks at level 31, but we won't need to worry about that right now. Let us continue. To make sure that we're building this right, make sure that we have the stone door on the same bit at the edge. So again, one square around the outside. Then we're going to have our stone flat wall, bang. Stone flat wall in, stone flat wall in, and then our window there. This build's going to be four high. We're gonna do the sides now and we're going to make the back identical to the front. So again, remember every corner is going to have like solid stone walls. Bang. We're going to skip one, because that's where a window is going to go. Bang. Skip one. 
and then we're going to put our stone door on this edge here now you know we're going to put our windows here bang bang and above bang bang and then again these solid ones right in there now if you have problems connecting your windows and if you've got a problem with stairs also i've got a tutorial on that just remember where your crosshairs are the crosshairs will save you all the dilemmas in the world okay so again we're on the edge we know that they're always going to be solid there's a solid one click the solid in there's a solid one solid in solid one and just copy that pattern for now window there we're going to put another window above it and then again we're on the edge you know that we're going to put the solid one there so there's the window bang so let's stand back and have a little look at our creation already as we start to evolve we'll put that other window there won't we but once you get those vines on and that defense wall oof, she's going to look beautiful so we're going to go around the other side and just mirror what we've done on the other side. So again, remember, solid always on the outside, stone wall, bang, bang. Again, we're mirroring that one, that one. Mirroring this one, bang, bang. Then you know what goes in between. We're going to put the windows there. Window, window. And the cool thing about Power World is that you can climb terrains instead of having to, um, you know, build staircases and fall down and have fall damage and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's nice to have. So we're going to do the door here. Remember, we're on the corner. So we're going to do the solid above that. Again, mirroring the other side. Solid, solid. Remember, it juts in here. Bang, bang, and up window. Yeah. Window, window. Go back to the stone wall. Solid, solid. Double solid. Solid, solid, solid. Okay. Then we're going to jut in again. Here, here. Window, window above. Stone wall here, solid, solid. And then flat, 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 solid, and then solid there. And the reason we've got uh, the, the solid and then the flat again is because those defense walls, they're the ones that go next to it. So it's not a big flat wall by the time you're actually done with it. It looks lit. So we're going to go down here and fix up that bit of stone wall there. So we've got four doors on this building. She's looking fine and dandy already opening the door. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build a roof and certain items in Pal World require two square high to fit in. So whether it be furniture items, whether they be resource items, they literally require two stories high. So we're going to get a wooden roof. You can use stone if it tickles your fancy. And then we're going to put that up two high. So we're going to start with the corner again and we're going to make these two beams run towards us and that's going to make the grain of the wood run horizontally like the rest of the building. So we're going to put these in here and don't get too carried away because there's certain spots we have to put uh, stone again. But for these bits, bang, bang, two beams towards us and rotate if they don't do that. Okay, again with this one two beams two beams two beams now this is the one we need to be careful of we're going to switch this one to the stone roof and we're going to run it horizontally again horizontally the same with the other side mirrored horizontally horizontally and the reason for that is that when we have a look at the castle over yonder 
we can see those defensive walls and you can see how that juts in like a beautiful balcony there and it adds dimension to it instead of this big box. So once we get those defensive walls, ooh, she's going to look beautiful. So again, we have to box that particular part in. Now we're going to go back to our wooden roof and continue our double beaming, which is here, here, there and continue on. Now we're going to break some of these in a moment because we're going to do the stairs. A little stair tutorial while we're here. Um, and the stairs with it was a thing that really uh, I did not understand when I started playing this game. I really didn't. And I played things like, you know, gra Grounded and Craftopia, etc. Um, and, and sometimes they can be a little bit finicky, but this was certainly finicky. But the hot tip is literally the crosshairs and then you'll be safe as a bank bang now that's nice and neat look at that beautiful so again this this little um area that sticks out we can put a fireplace in whatever you like uh, you could put your statue in there when you have it um, that looks really beautiful but again those have to have stone tops on them so to get our bearings there's our front door all it's all um <sighs> symmetrical like so all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the stairs and say for example this is the back door that we've come in we want the stairs just say here for argument's sake this is probably going to jut into uh the window but it's not that big of a deal so remember this this building's four squares high so we're just going to break that and we're going to break this you can put them wherever you want now often in the game we need to build structures to facilitate building stairs not all the time sometimes so we're going to put that there we can remove it later don't worry and then we're going to make a another one the wooden roof where the landing of the stairs is going to be right okay so in this game when it comes to stair building we have to connect our stairs to the uppermost point that we want to connect it to so sometimes people got their stairs like where the hell's my stairs gone if you get your crosshairs and connect to the up for most point bang you've got it and if you have something on the ground you're not going to be able to build the stairs but the secret is that you can build stuff after you build the stairs so say for example we want to build a wooden chest we can build a wooden chest under the stairs after you build the stairs not the other way around so then we're going to do the second part of the stairs bang again it's like oh well, why can't i build it you just have to put it up there. If you want to build downwards, you can go from top to down. Like that. Bang. Now we can actually remove this connecting piece if you want. Or you could have like a little little secret little landing up there. I don't know. Whatever whatever floats your boat. Alright. Now that we're up on the roof, we're going to get a stone wall and put four on this middle point so remember we've got all the wooden flooring roof we're going to attach it here four of them one two three four and the reason for that is that remember we're going to have those defensive walls there exactly the same as over there bang in the front bang on the second level same over this side again mirrored get the objects out of the way otherwise you can't build bang 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 right now we're going to do the corners now don't forget your windows so we have to remember what's on the ec the, the furthest point of the castle walls so we know that they're solid 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 then we're going to put the roof on it there then we're going to and we need to put a wall on first otherwise we can't build the other wall so we have to go and then we'll just remove it bang bang and then can remove that see now that wall's kind of floating um then we've got another stone wall here bang then here and then the roof horizontal as always so we're starting to get that classic castle shape du, 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 bang Okay. Um, 
Now don't worry, the whole roof is going to be nice and covered in safe as a bank. Now remember that this one here is going to be a window. So we're going to put the window there. And remember this one comes down. So we need another wall. Uh, we actually need to build wall first and then another wall on top of it. Then we can break it down. Sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you do. You sort of find out as you go along. So again, stone wall, this one's two levels high. Then we have this one, this one, this one, this one, build one on the ground. Pick up the stone, there, there, and then the stone roof. Then we're going to get our wall, our window, here, done. Then we're going to get our stone roof for that. And again, it might let us do it. Yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. Bang. Bang. But it won't let us do it for that one. So let's get our wall out. All out. I'm gonna do it. Sometimes you might have to get up, get it up to get it on. And then don't forget the roof. We don't want any nasties coming through the roof. Horizontal. And then we can go ham on it. You can drag it across the whole thing if you want. And then we'll close that one in. Another stone wall. This is a fiddly part. It really is. It's, it's, uh, it's something. Then sometimes again we might have to do that then we can close it in sometimes it lets you sometimes it doesn't yeah okay get rid of that wall see ya <clears throat> okay so now that bit's done again stone wall front front and then we're going to put the roof on this bit Make sure it's horizontal. Bang. Bang. Look at that. Look at you go. Okay. Moving on to this part now. So, let's get our stone wall again. Bang. Roof. Make sure she's running the same way. And then we're going to get our stone wall again fit there don't you yes you do ah, ah, ah. and then the roof 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 and slowly but surely roof and that's not the way we want to have it run is it we don't. We don't have to run the correct way. There we go. Horizontal. <sighs> okay. So we're back to the walls now. I know this is a really finicky part, but we'll overcome it. Sure. Now, this one's temporary. Don't worry. And we have intrusive wall over there, which we don't want to do. All right, let's close this bit in. And the stone wall. And then break the one that was supporting it. Bang. Done. Now we do the roof. Horizontal. Horizontal. Like that. Let's have a looky looky. That's going to be the same on the other side. 
Okay, now we're going to box this bit in. Remember, we have to start with the wall from the ground up. Bang. Bang. Right. Then we have our bit that juts in. And... Yeah. Bang. Do a wall there, which we have to remove. Then we do a roof. There. Like so. It's looking lovely. So again, we got the wall again. Bang. Stone wall. Stone wall. Stone wall. Stone wall. But up. Up. Around. And we can break the wall. It, it is a little bit wild, isn't it? It does get a little bit crazy. Hey, what did I break then? Oh, we needed the roof there, didn't we? Stone roof. Horizontal. Go. See, like, you could have all those connecting bits, but it's not really necessary, I don't think. Again... I mean, I don't like unnecessary walls there myself. Oops, there we go. And then we get our roof again. Bang. Then we get our wall again. Bang. And we get our roof again. Bang. Go. And then we can remove that one once she's ready. Then we got a wall again. Um, actually need that one to be a window, don't we? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We guess. And then we get a big one. Again. Uh, we will need that probably again. There. Just for the support. Bang. And then the roof again. And then we can try. Horizontal brick, horizontal brick, horizontal brick, horizontal brick. And then we go and close this one. You could actually um, even, you could, if you wanted to, go and get a wooden roof. Click it in there. Get your wooden stairs here, connect it to that. And then we could go up here. I'm adding this in just to this particular moment. Then we could add in a stone door here. Right. Now we could do that. 
and then get the wall and close all this in. Bang, bang, bang. Then the roof up here. Horizontal. Yep. So let us have a look. Closed in. <gasps> Secret place to get up on the roof and check out what's going on. You might like to, the door to swing a different way. There we go. It's it's. I know it's very extreme to look at, but it's going to be stunning by the time we're done with it. All right, let's let us have a look. Get this out of the way. Let us have a look what this looks like. So we've got windows, windows, windows. Good. You can put the windows up here if you wanted to keep them going. Um, it's up to you. But there's gonna be so much dimension on it, I think that you know overkiller windows might be a bit a bit much. Alright, so that is our external part of the castle. She's looking lovely. We just need to get our defensive walls now. So defensive walls only cost one cement and ten stone. And what we want to do is we want to line it up and run it into the wall to start with. Just so when we pull it back, we just have the smallest gap humanly possible and then bang these are often very hard to line up because they just don't <laughs> little little kitty cats sneaking through the window uh, they just very rarely line up just because they don't snap all right so we're gonna make this in as possible that uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go red and then just between that point. Now we can see that that on the left hand side is not aligned properly. That one is. You literally have to be very pedantic about this. If you're into building, I'm sure you are probably anyway. So we want it on it like that. And there will be gaps. That's what the vines are for. Okay, so again, we can point down like this. Actually, it's better than the other one. <laughs> that one's better than the other one. Let's try and move this one. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't. It's just how it is, but I just want to do it. Okay, point down. Just see, see how it doesn't fit. Okay, we nearly got it, nearly got it. Nearly. It'd be much easier with mouse and keyboard, I can tell you that much. Over a little bit, over a little bit, over a little bit. That, that should be really right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, bang. That's better than my other place. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Get excited. This one here again. So point down, run it into the wall, bring it back slowly, even. Just look at what the, the edges and see what part of the like stone they're sort of on. Bang. Put it on the edge. Yeah. Good. So let's stand back and have a little squiz at this one. See, we're already adding beautiful dimension to it already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sneak up to the top. Now you could uh, see how we got the gap there. Tough luck. Um, you could put a an, um, a door there if you wanted to, but then you won't be able to put the defensive walls, and I think it would look a little bit barren otherwise. So again, I'm going to do it this way. You can have a little balcony, a little Romeo Juliet balcony if you want, but I'm going to do it this way. So let's keep on my side of it. Again, bang, done. Next one, see if I can line this one up again. Uh, okay. Ooh, is silly. I think that's good. Yeah. Damn, you're my good luck. My good luck token. All right. So, oh boy. So uh, we will have a look at the vines in a moment, but we'll want to get this defensive wall stuff sorted out. The vines are a godsend. Okay, defensive wall again, run it in. Bounce that out. Outermost corners, bang, 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 click. We're good now, we're, we're cooking with gas. So run it out, connect those two corners. 
if you're like in your vision, they don't, they won't auto click and connect. Click and collect. Okay, this one here. Oh, we can do that with, thankfully, with the crate there. Bang. Up. Oh, nearly. There we go. Ooh, nope. Don't she be sloppy about it. There we go. That's love. Look at that. Yes. Mastering your craft. So whenever you're wanting to build something new and trying your hand at building something, just start with building the box of the of the building that you're doing. I think it might have a gap on the right, it does. Um, so I always build a box on the outside, like the, the whole perimeter, like I showed you. Um, when I first started doing the castle, I just built a big boxy rectangle. Then I started taking things away and moving. Now you might not like this here. You can move the stairs one over if you like. Defensive wall again. Oh, this is this is a tricky part. And then defensive wall again. Hopefully we've got enough cement left. Okay. Nope, 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 too much. That's perfect. Damn straight. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you could forego the one at the side, but, you know, I'll always know that it's there and it's missing, so... Um, move it. Ah, ah. Wow, we're looking... Oh, we've got to do the one at the top. I nearly forgot. And then we can do some uh, wall-mounted torches, la la la. That makes it look stunning at night time, I can tell you that much. I've literally got two bases with two castles right next to each other. I would be sad to get rid of one because I want my other base. All right, let me just move you over. Okay. Come on. All right, next one. I don't know about this one. No, oh, it's not as good as the other one. All right, and then... Um, like, all right, let's do this one. Another one. Don't want to run out, run out of cement. We'll do the ivy next. <clears throat> and then we've got another wall here. All right. That looks beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to um, the furniture section, second tab, depending on how much you've unlocked, and we're going to go the big wall ivy. For this we need fibre and we'll be able to get that from the trees. Alright, so the little secret part when it comes to gaps in between um, the defensive walls we just get our little ivy so it's a small wavy ivy and place it like this and place it like this just scattered still and kind of wrap it around to hide and shroud the gap in the wall because sometimes obviously inside the castle uh, you'll have lights on which can really shine through those gaps in the walls so bang there just literally let it wrap around like so and then again um, get your big wall ivy and start scattering that around the place too it just adds texture and to mention you could even shroud some of the window like that, then you could run a horizontal wavy ivy there too. Like that. 
But again, the small ivy is, is a definitely a, a lovely little feature that it has to hide the, the little gaps. Sometimes you might be lucky and be able to put it in the gaps. Again, the bigger wavy ivy, bang, horizontal, just put it wherever basically. And we got the gap there again, small wavy ivy, and then we need more fiber, so on and so forth. Um, so it is looking beautiful at night time. Oof, it is lit. Now, what looks really nice with this is to use your um, torches. And the hot tip, little torch, the hot tip is to have the little candle pal. And she goes around and literally lights um, all the torches for you little flambelle so just get your torches put them around the place have her there and will remain lit now i wouldn't go too crazy with the torches though because they can get very loud in the game like you literally walk in the place and it's just sizzle noise um and that's you know not always the i mean i don't mind it but some people might find it a bit much so we're looking good we've got this sort of area down the side we put our ivy there too Oh, to light you up. And just torches, ivy, torches, ivy. And then you've got the joy of decorating it from, don't want that one, from inside. Extra stairs there. Put your curtains up. Little torch here. I'll put one over here. There's also... Um, the fountain that you can put up as a lovely feature. It's quite expensive to make though, is that part. And look at this gap, we can easily fix that with our ivy. Um, but you can get a little bit more pedant, like super pedantic if you want and just really try and align that better. But we don't want to sit here all day watching that. See the light coming through? Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. And if you find that there's something in there, she's looking beautiful. That's, I actually like this better than my original castle. Um, and yeah, just some little different features that you can put there to break up, um, you know, if, if you find it plain. And again, you can put the windowed walls up there. So let's have a little quick look inside before I go. Look at this. The world is your oyster. Put a Little fight. I mean, we might do a separate, a separate because this one's taking a while. A separate. Uh, well, it won't really be a, a tutorial because you know you'll be able to do your own thing. But uh, a little house tour of the inside once that gets done, and then you can also put you know a second level up here. You don't have to have it double story everywhere. You could run a second level in this particular part. Um, if you're not running any equipment that needs that double story height. So this could be a whole section just for, you know, pet sleeping if it tickles your fancy. And that's what I meant about the vines there, you know, looking out to the to the view beyond with these vines just shrouding the window. And you put the uh, vines inside too, etc. But you can make some beautiful things in this winding little staircases around the place. But she's looking lovely and... Um, what a view. A, a castle and a view of a castle. But I personally like this one better. This other one over here is um, another two squares wide. And there we go. Uh, the tree out the front. There we can get rid of that thing. Actually, we'll just hide that bit. Um, I'll get a shot of this at night time, I think. And um, yeah, I think windows might look nice um, on those inner sections, though but you might like it a little bit more fort looking. Uh, we need to actually look on the roof too before I go. One thing I didn't do is go up there and view it. Okay, so I'd personally run another staircase over the other side. Well, that, perim that perimeter over there, you can put your farm and your resources, la la la, but this is not eating up too much of the land, that's for sure. 
is looking beautiful. Where's my little, where's my little pal? Oh, this is going to be good. Come here. Big boy. There we go. Don't fall into the water. Stay there. No, 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 you go back over there. Thank you. Good, good boy. Thank you, Ignis. Yeah, just stay there. Go for a swim. Lovely. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out with all this craziness. I know it took a long time and um, I hope you enjoy and enjoy your castle. And comment below if you found it helpful. Um, I'll love and leave you. Till next time.